Welcome back, everyone. Pregnancy can really take a toll on your body, but there are a number of female Olympic athletes showing us it is possible to come back and reach peak performance levels even after baby. Now, not all of us might be going for the gold, but if you're even trying to get back into shape, a local clinic is reaching out just to moms. We are standing today in the UW Health Runners Clinic, and I'm talking today with the director of the clinic, Brian Heiderscheidt. Brian, thanks so much for joining us. I really appreciate it. Absolutely. As we're watching the Olympics right now, you say there are some unique female athletes mm -hmm. we really could be inspired by and watching. Mm -hmm. Talk about some of the moms that we're seeing there. Yeah, probably the one that's most um, prevalent right now with the current sports going on is, is uh, Carrie Walsh Jennings, uh, one of the beach volleyball players. Uh, she is uh, uh, a recent mom of two in the last three years and has been back at the, in the, uh, uh, the Olympics a level and completing at a, a gold level performance. One of the marathoners as well mm -hmm. is, is also a mom. Right. Um, you specialize here in helping women in particular, but all athletes, get back to uh, a maximum fitness level right. after something like a pregnancy. Exactly. So our goal is uh, after pregnancy, there's so many issues that can that can be uh, playing a role with it is that the pregnancy itself puts a, certainly a lot of demand on, on the woman's body and making sure that it's back and able to handle the demands of running becomes certainly a, an issue of, of concern. What are some of the m more common injuries? So a lot of muscle tendon type injuries, stress fractures, um, knee pain, hip pain, low back pain. Um, those are most common and they may occur not only within the first couple of months coming back from pregnancy, but also several years afterwards if the initial uh, issues are not addressed. So reassuring to a lot of women out there that they're not alone Absolutely. in some of the issues that Absolutely. they're having. Absolutely. You have an upcoming clinic that you've got mm -hmm. going uh, that you want to let women know about? Yeah, so as, as part of the UW Runners Clinic, we're trying to work with other providers on campus and through the UW Health System, including the spine physical therapists and sports psychology and, and primary practice providers too provide a, a clinic that really taps into what moms need, and, and not necessarily just new moms, but moms in general, um, with re, if they're interested in getting back to running or any high level of exercise, making sure that any of that, that post-pregnancy sort of deficits are addressed. Weakness, flexibility, strength overall, uh, neuromuscular control, making sure that's resolved so we minimize the risk of injury. Before someone would get in here though, do you have a best piece of advice for moms out there looking to get back into a more hardcore workout routine? Yeah, definitely start slow. Listen to your body. Uh, don't think by any means you're gonna pick up where you left off or that you should be able to what? pick off where you left off <laughs> within a couple of months. You know, like there are certainly some individuals like the Olympians where they're running PR times within five or six months after delivery, and that's just not realistic for the general population. It's not, but it is inspiring. It so is we'll inspiring. have to keep an eye out for Absolutely. them. Brian, thank you very much. Appreciate your time. Yeah, thank you. If you would like more information on the UW Runners Clinic, head to NBC15.com and click on news links. It's all there. Stay with us. Final check on traffic and your forecast next.